I met uh, Martin Hasselhoff in Los Angeles, I think, in 2007. Um, and we met at a dinner at the Austrian consulate. And uh, very soon after, we started speaking about doing a piece together. And we didn't know what or kind of what form it would take. And uh, eventually, we settled on the idea of doing a piece about Jack Unterweger, who, who was a um, convict who had been... Um, found guilty of murder in 1976 and uh, he began to rehabilitate himself taking writing workshops etc and he became quite a noted author, playwright uh, poet and journalist and most especially noted for his coverage of a series of prostitute murders in the Vienna woods uh, all of which he wrote about, and all all of the murders are murders which he committed as well. And uh, we met in probably February or so of of uh, Je Fe January February of two thousand eight. Mikael Stuminger, um, who is the writer of the piece and is uh, dir the director of the piece as well. And uh, Mikel agreed to write it. And we did, a, I think, two readings in Los Angeles then. And then we decided to actually do a kind of full-blown production of it. I mean, it's a very skeletal production. but um, And that opened at the Ronica Theater in Vienna in 2009. And... Uh, the thing that appealed to me was the um, the power and the beauty and the joy of of playing with uh, a full broke orchestra and two sopranos and trying to figure out how I could fit in. So that's the history of the piece. And then we toured the world for five years, uh, South America, Mexico, North America, including Canada, all across Europe. And uh, we never, I think, went further. Well, Moscow, uh, no, not Moscow, St. Petersburg twice at the White Nights Festival. And, and really all around for five years. And then we did two other pieces after that. I don't, I don't know that we can justify characters or, or justify characters most especially that are real people. Um, and Unterweger certainly is not someone I think that any of the creators of the piece would justify his behavior or condone it in any way. Personally, I, I think once you murder someone, I, I don't know who can redeem you. Uh, it, perhaps you could redeem yourself, and, uh, but that is not something Unterweger perhaps was ever truly interested in. I, I can't say, I, didn't, I don't know what's inside people. But I never feel... Uh, kinship with characters I play. Well, this is a working trip, and of, of course I've spent a great deal of time in Madrid over the years because I uh, have friends here, because I made a film here 20 years ago called Pasos de Baile, um, and I'm often in and out visiting friends, etc., so uh, I've always been very fond of Madrid. I regard uh, sort of film and theater as, as uh, if we looked at it as a kind of music, uh, one would be the piano and one would be the violin. They're both music, but 
as to how to play them, they're not really related. Um, theater is ephemeral and organic, and movies are set forever. Um, and they're neither ephemeral nor organic. Um, and if, if you watch a film in 1984, and you watch it in 1993 and in 2007 and in 2021, that will be exactly the same thing you saw when you first watched it. If you watched a play over that period of time, that can never be the same, even night to night, because every experience is, is unique, for better or worse. Every experience is unique because the theater is living. 